thank our uh, chairwoman and all the members of uh, the California Democratic delegation. Uh, as has been said, for uh, a year and a half, we've been meeting with one administration official after another, uh, requesting that they take the foreclosure crisis uh, seriously. Uh, we've uh, presented to them our, uh, our ideas of what can be done by the executive branch. Uh, we also have uh, offered legislation, uh, but I think that uh, being uh, very practical members, uh, we understand that uh, uh, the majority is not interested in passing uh, bills of this nature in the House. Um, in October, the uh, delegation, I think, presented uh, a very, um, a, again, very practical list of what the executive branch can do. Uh, we know that, um, that our homes uh, and the homes of people across the country are their single greatest asset. Now uh, their home has become like a rock around their neck and they are sinking under the weight of what is happening uh, with, uh, with housing in our country. Uh, in his speech last night, the president, I think, said the right thing about correcting the abuses of servicers. Uh, but in my view, uh, that requires legislation. And so it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, just this week, the conservator of uh, Fannie and Freddie, the FHA, uh, FHFA, turned down our proposal for principal reduction for homeowners uh, in bankruptcy. I think if we're really going to be serious about uh, this uh, catastrophe that is not only seized and is having uh, such a deleterious effect on California's economy uh, as well as our nation's economy uh, that the president needs to name uh, a new director. Uh, this simply is not going to work. So I think obviously the time has come where the delegation takes uh, its uh, not, not just anecdotal stories uh, but the facts and the figures from California. We stand, and we're very proud of our AG uh, for standing apart from uh, this settlement. It doesn't come near uh, even what the California numbers are, uh, much less the nation. And that is unfair to homeowners, to taxpayers across the country. So we look forward to meeting with the president. We think we have a lot to offer to him.